Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the APVMA's second annual Science Day event. We're all very busy, and I know that each of you have made a big commitment to take time out of your busy schedules to be here uh, in Canberra today. I hope you're going to find the, the program both uh, relevant and interesting. Our theme for today is regulatory science and innovation in, in a global context. We have chosen this topic to explore how international influences in both regulation and science are relevant to the way that the APVMA assesses and evaluates uh, a product's safety, efficacy, quality and performance. I guess like any uh, regulator, APVMA needs to ensure that, that it's responsive to um, uh, emerging issues, and, and that's a very important thing. But the second point, of course, is that our methodologies and guiding frameworks must be fit for purpose. And finally, we must keep up with the international uh, better practices um, that, that we um, encounter. Uh, this means that we, we need to not only keep up to date with international thinking around some of the long practiced methodologies, but we also need to be part of shaping the face of regulatory science as emerging technologies present new and often unique considerations. So uh, this morning, uh, this, this morning um, we're going to start by overviewing <coughs> global networks for regulation and, and policy settings for AgVet chemicals. We look at how the APVMA works with, our, with, with other national regulators and international bodies, such as the World Health Organization. This global network is diverse. It's made up of agencies with a broad reach of interests and agendas. Some are influenced by national or regional political and social concerns. Other agencies are shaped by global public health and safety and yet others are focused on advancement of trade and sustainable agriculture or on bringing some of the innovative products and technologies to the market. But at the heart of all of these uh, agendas is high quality uh, regulatory science. It, it underpins the activities um, of, of the regulatory authorities the, the world over. So as a strong an active participant in international cooperation, the APVMA also recognises that solutions are spread across government and industry and also found in publicly funded research institutes such as CSIRO and in academia. This afternoon, um, this afternoon we will focus on emerging issues and technologies of global concern. We will look at how antimicrobial resistance has emerged as a public health issue and how governments around the world have, have a role to play in providing the resources to allow our scientific experts to develop and implement effective measures to address antimicrobial resistance. So we'll hear from two leaders in the field who will present their perspectives on the microbiological and pharmacological considerations of antimicrobial resistance and that will give us some guidance on directions for regulation into the future. Following this, we will hear about advances in regulatory science around biopesticides. Biopesticides or biological pesticides are obtained from organisms including plants, bacteria and other microbes. In recent times, biopesticides have received a lot of attention as potential substitutes to synthetic chemical plant pr protection products. And we, we will hear about their development and some current regulatory considerations. We will close our science day with emerging technologies. These products engender roughly equal parts of excitement and concern among the community. And this rapidly evolving area of science seems to offer an endless range of applications and potential. It's, it's always very interesting to see how questions are framed differently uh, on some of these emerging technologies. We, we note, for example, that, that some questions are, are framed about power of corporations in this regard. 
other other um, members of the community are more concerned about the the safety or the to human health or to the environment, and so w we encounter this public dialogue, um, which which is is very important and is, is part of our um, decision making. So the very changes in biological, chemical and other properties which make some of these applications so exciting simultaneously presents these new questions about how to predict, identify, measure and monitor the possible harmful effects. Regulatory agencies around the world are considering how, the, how to apply some of the existing uh, regulatory frameworks for these products. Um, these, these regulatory frameworks, of course, were developed uh, decades ago for, for, for many um, conventional chemicals and so forth. Now what we're seeing are, are these innovations which can cross um, uh, boundaries in terms of their regulation. Just how should we handle that? So the, the, the question is, is raised, how can regulation respond to these new, new materials that ensures their safety but at the same time does not stifle innovation. The APVMA's contribution to these global challenges for regulatory science is essential to ensuring that the Australian community has access to safe and effective AgVet chemicals, which are the latest uh, that innovation has to offer. So I, I'm looking forward to today's um, um, forum and I trust that you are as well. Thank you.